Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are going to talk about layouts. Okay. So consider that sometimes you wanted to build something different, right? Layout means the base layout for your particular route. Consider that this is a login page. Okay. In this login page you don't see header, footer, sidebar, navbar, right? So the layout of the login page is totally different. And whenever you see the dashboard page, the layout is different. Here we might be having header, footer, sidebar, right? So this is the difference between both the components, right? Here it is having some components which are not there on this particular piece means this particular login piece is using different layouts. Okay. I will attach this reference, this example I got. So both components are having a different set of layouts. So how we can create a custom layout based on the route. Okay. So in our react components while writing it, we can decide what layout we wanted to render like auth layout, dashboard layout, public layout, alternate layout, these kind of terminology you can use. For login, you can use auth layout, which will not have header. For dashboard piece, you can have a dashboard layout, which will have a header, footer, sidebar, everything for you, right? So how to render that layout? It's nothing but one layout we can just create as a wrapper and then we can render a particular route. So here I will just show a simple, simple layout component. I mean uh, app with layout app with layout and here we'll be just writing the render function how it is going to be so consider that we have these set of pages which we are going to render so we have an array in that array we are saying that this component needs is pointing to this component and require this kind of layout here exact true so we can create this kind of array so rendering the routes through the array is very popular technique here we have defined the path component layout and all and we can actually get the mapping of the routes from somewhere so the path is this we can create a path somewhere in, in our code which is pointing to dashboard here let's hard code it for now it is pointing to dashboard and path is login for this okay these are the two pages we are going to create login and dashboard piece okay now so in this example we will talk different things like how to access the uh, how to access how to do the navigations from the code also like this dot props dot history dot push this is actually used to navigate from one route to another route okay so const app we are creating a simple app component here. Now here we can actually loop on to this. So what we are going to return is the switch block. I mean we have already got the router because these all these things will be rendered inside a router only. So switch block we will just close it and we'll just close this. Now inside the switch block, we can render all our child components. Child component means we just need to run the loop onto the pages. Pages contains our routes. So pages dot map. Here uh, we'll access a particular item like I will not make it complex. And this is what we are rendering from each and every route. And uh, here we'll be able to render the route. And in the route, we have to pass all the prop properties. We can have an index property also. So key is index and rest all the properties we will be accessing from the i exact i dot exact. Okay, uh, path i dot path. Similarly, other properties we have. So now finally the render how we are going to define it because in the render function we can actually pass the props and here we can check a lot of things so we are getting props and here we will be rendering a particular layout okay this is complaining so we'll be closing the route somewhere so like here And this is our closing. Just 
just let me check the closing tag so here we are closing the routes so here inside this we'll be just checking few things okay what layout component we wanted to render so layout will be a parent component history we can pass props.history which we just received from props and here we can just pass the component so this here we are going to create a child of it so because layout is already decided what component we are going to render inside that we can render our component and we can pass the history rest of the props I mean so here we are getting the props and we are passing the rest of the props to this child component now we'll see what is this complaining about so switch and router closing tag for route that is correct so okay right this is fine so this is how we have created it we created an array of routes here you can define all these kind of layouts my dashboard needs this layout my setting page needs some other layout here we can create a setting page also it can be another layout settings layout which will be like a different kind of system here we are rendering the layout component which we are getting from i dot layout so here also i need to put i dot layout or what is the better way you can actually access all these properties here itself in the render while while rendering it or while passing it okay so this is how we are actually creating the multiple layouts and then rendering that particular component here so this is also i dot component so whatever we are passing we are passing component we are passing layout everything is available on to this particular loop okay so this is how we can create a multi layout application for each and every route you can create a uh, different components like login will have a different layout in this dashboard will have a different and your settings will have a different settings phase and in this in these components if we just try to define any one of them then we can access this history and if like you are going to the login page you are going to the dashboard page without getting logged in then you can use that uh, property and you can just do this dot props dot history this dot history dot push dashboard page or login page to actually navigate from the code level but i hope this should be clear how we are actually doing it and uh, if nothing is found then you can redirect it to a particular dashboard page so this is what typically we are doing while writing a multi layout single page application we can actually create a routes and the components in a particular layout okay thanks everyone